When I think of human development and family studies at CSU, I think of a program that's really supportive and inclusive and looking to encourage students to pursue professions in the helping studies. I discovered HDFS through the My Majors quiz. I actually came to CSU undeclared and my majors quiz helped me match my interests with the majors available at CSU and HDFS was one of my top five. HDFS just has a really um, diverse program and it let me explore my interests while still kind of staying focused on helping people. I'd say my favorite part about HDFS is probably just the faculty. Everybody's so amazing and willing to support you all the time and just happy to see you genuinely and pushing you to succeed. There are a ton of great opportunities available to HDFS students. Uh, there are a lot of great research opportunities to pair up with faculty members and grad students and get some hands-on experience. There are also a lot of great opportunities for first generation and diverse populations. Because HDFS provides the opportunity to explore a bunch of different areas, we're able to provide support for people in a lot of different ways such as physical therapy, occupational therapy, um, counseling services, everything from nursing and teaching, elementary school students. So we're able to provide support in a lot of different ways because of this program. In HDFS, we get to learn a lot about lifespan development. So we get to learn a lot about how people develop from the time that they're born to the time that they're um, in nursing homes and in that aging population. I think one of the biggest misconceptions about HDFS is that it's not really um, based in science and that it's not there's not a lot of money that you can earn from, <laughs> from a degree in HDFS. We actually base a lot of our um, learning content off of psychology and biology and neuroscience. So it's definitely based in science and there's a lot of great research that we can do um, to get that hands-on science experiments. And then a lot of the helping professions, you can eventually like work your way up to make some pretty, pretty solid salaries. So that's definitely a big misconception. HDFS actually offers a bunch of post-grad opportunities. There's a great pre-health um, concentration that will allow you to prepare for some of those prereqs for medical school, um, nursing school, PA school, OT school. And there's also an opportunity to major in early childhood education and actually get a certification so that you can teach right out of graduation, which is amazing. HDFS has given me a really great platform to kind of explore all of my interests. Um, and after doing a little bit of that exploration, I see HDFS bringing me um, into the higher education system. So I would really like to work as an academic advisor or in the orientation and transition programs. I really liked learning about the identity proportion of like adolescence and emerging adulthood. So my HDFS 311 Adolescent and Early Adult Development course really helped with that. And I also got hands-on experience this semester working as a peer advisor, which is another opportunity you can seize in the HDFS department. So I kind of just discovered that I loved working with the college population. If I could talk to younger Megan, I would say that I don't have to have it all planned out. You can definitely take your time to explore and really don't stress about it all the time. You're going to waste a lot of your time stressing rather than enjoying the exploration process. So kind of take time to slow down and really just think about what's, what's making you happy right now. My name is Megan Battleson. I'm a human development and family studies major, and you can be too.